Hey guys and welcome to the show. My name is JP and I'm here to help you make your very next game. So smash that subscribe button and like this video. Let's see if we can get up to 50 likes. It shouldn't be too hard because today we're going to be making an online high school system using the Game Maker server extension. Now this has to be one of the most suggested videos I've ever gotten on this channel. So I thought it's about time that we actually start doing some videos on this extension. Now unfortunately the creator hasn't updated his extension to be compatible with Game Maker Studio 2, but that's not too bad. We're going to be using Game Maker Studio 1.4, which should give us enough of a know-how so that if or when version 2 comes out, we'll be able to port everything over quite nicely. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create an online high school system. So when you implement this into your game, obviously there'll be some sort of point system and it'll get to a phase where the user can input their name and they push some button that submits their high score to the internet. In my tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is we're just going to have a random number generator. It's going to generate a number between zero and a thousand, I suppose. Then the user can input their name and click save and that'll do every request we need to do and automatically redirect them to the wall of fame where they can see how well they did compared to their friends. So here we have a main menu. If I go wall of fame, it's going to take us to the wall of fame. As you can see, QWERTY is 968 points and as dazd has 402. So you can decide how many high schools you want to view. Ultimately, when you query for high schools, it's going to give you all of them. You can limit it on the game maker end, which is okay. Um, so if I go back, let's go ahead and create a new score. And in clicking new score, it's going to generate a random number, which I spoke about. In this case, it created a score of 604 points. I'm going to create my name as, uh, let's say, new guy. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. Oh, it says invalid name. I think it's very sensitive about uh, characters. Like you can't use special characters like this. And I think spaces is one of those. I'm going to try to find the documentation that stipulates what is a special character that you can't submit. In this case, let's just make it one word. Cool. All right. So it put it in. If we go down on this list, as we can see, new guy is second from the bottom over there, but he is in fact in the high school. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to be using an extension called Game Maker Server. A lot of people have been asking me to explain it to them because there are some concepts in it that are a little complex. Online high schools is only a small part of it. It's what we're going to be doing today. If this video turns out to be rather successful, then we're going to be showing everyone else how to do some other cool gaming server things. So first things first, head over to your browser and go to gamemakerserver.com. If you arrive at the right place, you'll find this. It has a little description about how many developers are using it, um, how many accounts created in games. Go ahead and register for an account. You can do so by clicking login and saying register. It's going to require username, password, email, things like that. Once you do register, you will be asked to verify your account. Just follow the link in your email. So once you are registered and logged in, you're going to have to go ahead and also register to be a developer. This gives you access to APIs and all the extensions and tool sets that you'll need to then use the system. Now, once you've done all that, you can go ahead at the top, hover over developer and register a game. To do so, you'll have to log in with your developer password. Now, when you get to the screen, when you're just registered for your developer account, it's going to be pretty blank and you will have to go ahead and register your own game. Just as simply the title of your game, as well as the game identifier. Now, the game identifier can be found in your global game settings under the general tab. This is it. Game settings, game identifier. So you just copy that and paste it right over here. Now, I've already got a game associated with this project. 37749 So if we click on that and we scroll down over here, we will find a link called High Scores. Open that. We've got a high score called the Wall of Fame. You can add a new high score as simple as this and you can choose how it is sorted. If I click the Wall of Fame, it should give me a high score list ID. Now we need to remember this because this is the ID we're going to be using to tell Game Maker Server which high score to add our players to. And if I scroll down on this, you'll notice these are all the high scores that we saw in our list over here. Now notice that these high scores in this list on the browser say guest underscore. What I've done is I have requested all these high scores. I did get them with guest underscore. I've just taken away the first few characters to make it a little cleaner. And there's some other features you can delete the high scores. If you click on one of these, it will delete them from your high scores list forever. All right, so at this point, what I want you to do is go to the home page, scroll to the bottom of the home page and click download game maker server. Once it's finished downloading, head over to your project file, go to extensions, right click and say import. Locate the downloaded file, game maker server 2.0.1, head over to extension and here at the bottom right, you need to select game maker legacy extension. I'm going to select the windows one and say open. 
All right, so now we have everything we need to get this thing going. All right, so now that you have downloaded your extension and added it to your game, I want you to go over to documentation where you'll find an awesome doc under getting started that'll help you get started. Now I'm gonna be running through this doc in my application and summarizing basically everything there is inside the startup guide. So now that we have registered with Game Maker Server, registered as a developer, created a game, created a high score, and downloaded and added the extension, I'm gonna run you through what we've got over here. So in our sprites, we've simply got some buttons. Nothing too fancy, this one saves the score. This is the input box for the name of the player. This is the back button, this is the wall of fame, main menu button, and this is the new score button. Next up I've got two backgrounds, the main and the wall of fame, just has a heading basically. Under fonts, I've got font score, font input, and font small. Each of these is used for different things. This font score is used when we generate the score. This is used in the input box, and this is used in our wall of fame object. So I've got the back button, the button that takes us to the score generation screen, the button that saves the score, the button that takes us to the hall of fame, the input box, the score itself that is generated, and a little message if there is an error from Game Maker Server. In the rooms, we've got our main menu over here. We've got our score room over here. So here we have the object score, which generates the score and displays to the screen. We have the input on the left and the save score button on the right. Bottom left, we have a back button. And then the high score screen, simply just this room with nothing much going on here and the back button. Okay, so according to the documentation, we've got to create a game object called GMS. I suppose it stands for Game Maker Server. It needs to be visible and persistent. It doesn't require a sprite. And it needs to use a create event, a step event, a game end event, a networking event, a synchronous networking event, and a draw event. Also, we need to set the depth to something ridiculously high in negatives. I'm going to do this at 100,000, and it needs to be persistent. So it exists throughout a game and only is destroyed when our game ends. In the create, I'm going to add some code. This is going to be GMS initialize. GMS. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a global variable. This is going to be our high score ID. If you go to Game Maker Server again and you click on Developer, you click on the name of your game, and you scroll down to High Scores and select the high score that you want to append to and list and all that stuff. Here is a high score list ID, 1452. We're going to grab that and put it in over here. Next, I need to say GMS Settings. Simple mode, yeah, we're going to do simple mode. Uh, the version is going to be version 1 and because I don't need to track players and I'm not going to be really doing players, this is just sending numbers and names to the game server, I'm going to put minus 1 and minus 1 into both of these. So that's all we need to do for the create. I'm going to go to the step next, drag in some code. This is going to say GMS step, simple as that. Next, game end, more code. GMS logout. Then in the networking, we're going to have GMS network. Then the draw event, I'm going to say GMS draw. Simple as that. Then I'm going to go ahead to room main and let's go add that object to the main room. Next, in the room score, let's take a look at what object score actually does. So in its create event, randomizes the seed and chooses a number between 0 and 1000 for our score. And it just simply draws that to the screen over there. Simple. It's actually the save score button that should do all the work here. And here we're going to have a mouse left pressed event, drag in some code, GMS high score add, we're going to add guest, global dot, and this was the name of our high score global, 
Kobo High School ID. Next, we need the actual name of the player to add. Now here I have this input box. If you want to learn more about text input output, check the video in the description. It'll tell you all about what this does. But ultimately, in a nutshell, it has a property called text that I use to store the name that the user types in. So if I want to get that text out, I say object input dot t x t. Then the score is going to be score. And the callback is going to be a script called scr guest high score callback. Now is probably a pretty good time to go ahead and create this callback script. So ultimately when we do a request to add a new high score, GameMaker server is going to come back to us with a response through this script. Firstly we need to get the result, which is argument zero. If result is not equal to e ok, then we're going to say something went wrong. Otherwise, we can go to room high scores. So here in your error handling, you're going to be looking for something called e invalid name. You're going to be looking for e account exists. And there's going to be an else, which is an unknown error. So here I'm going to say if result equals invalid name, do some stuff. I'm not actually using account exists because in the high scores, we're not trying to create an account. So this is, so this error is never going to happen. So I'm just going to put an else. If it's an invalid name, I'm going to say with instance create at zero zero object error message equals invalid name and I'm going to copy this into the else and say message equals unknown error. Simple as that. Okay, so that is our callback. If things go well, we will be redirected to the high school screen. If they don't, our object error will simply draw the message to the screen in red. Right over here. You now notice that this has turned to orange because the script is in existence. So let's go ahead and test this out. And we can see if we can actually go ahead and create a new score and we'll check online to see if it is there. Oh, we got an error. It doesn't know GMS network. That's a little strange. Let's go ahead and re-import this extension. Import 201 extension legacy. Let's go for all this time and see if that fixes the problem. Ah, that looks good. Let's say OK. Let's say OK, let's say OK to that and let's try again. Very good, that seems to have done the trick. So let's use the all version of that extension because the other one seems to be a little bit iffy. Cool, so if I go to Wall of Fame, there's not going to be anything here because I don't have any code here to tell it to get anything. Right, so it looks like we scored 899 points. Let's go over to GameMaker Server Wall of Fame. 899 points will put us fourth over here. So let's say we won. Well, fourth place, but we won fourth place and save. Okay, so it redirected us to the Wall of Fame, which means it was successful. Let's go over back to GameX Server on this high school and say refresh and see if we can see this brand new score. And there it is, guest underscore we won 899 points. So that is phase one of this video. We're now able to save our new high scores. We can distribute this quote unquote game to our friends and let them basically generate as many high scores as they want and give them names. So next thing, let's make sure that when we go to this wall of fame, it displays all of these guys. Now there are quite a lot of these here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, more than 10. I actually really care about the top 10. So I'm gonna get all of them. If there are 20, I'm gonna get 20 and I'm only going to display the top 10. All right, so back to our application. Let's close all of these. Let's create a new object called object scores. It's going to have a create event. Now I need to know how many scores there are. So scores count equals GMS 
high score count and the list ID again is this. Put that right over there. That's all we need. So now that we have the count, I can say if scores count is greater than 10, then scores count equals 10. We only want the top 10. For var i equals 0, i is less than scores count, i plus plus. Here I'm going to say score array i 0 is going to equal string copy. The string is going to be gms high score and there should be name of the global high score ID. And the ith value of that list. And I'm gonna say index at seven. So that's the start. Basically here what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the guest underscore, which is from zero to seven. So we're getting the name of the string, well, so we're getting the string we want to manipulate, which is the whole name, which includes the guest underscore. We're starting at index seven, and we're going ahead and heading to the length of this name. And we can finish that off with the remaining brackets. Cool. So that gives us the name without the guest underscore. Next thing, score array i1 is going to equal simply gms high score score. And then we can copy this bit there and done. So this is going to give me an array that will look something like 0, Billy, 0, and then a score. And then the next one will be 1, Sam, 1, and then Sam score, etc. For as many elements in that high score list there are. This is a two dimensional array. Next, I'm going to go to a draw event in the scores uh, object. And I'm going to say I want to create a variable called xx and let's set it to room width divided by 2. yy is going to equal 125. Let's uh, draw set font to fnt small. Let's draw set color to make color RGB 183, 224, 31. Then let's draw set horizontal alignment to FA center and draw set vertical alignment to FA middle, I believe. Then another for loop for i equals zero, i is less than scores count i plus plus we're just gonna be drawing that two-dimensional array to the screen draw text at xx and yy I'll a typo here xxyy and i want to draw the string score array element i and the first one in the second dimension plus let's put a hyphen plus string score array i1 so it's going to draw whichever element this is of our first dimension of the array and the first and second element in the second dimension which is the name and then the score and I'm going to increment y by about 50 pixels so that will draw the next one lower down. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and place that object in our high score screen. Objects, scores, plonk it in over there. Save, stop our game from running, save it up. So now when we run our game and we head over to the Wall of Fame screen, we should see a list of the top 10 scores. 
And there they are, from QWERTY all the way down to New Guide. Let's go back and add a new score, 955 points. This must be a good one. Save, and there he is, second place. This must be a good one. So now you can distribute your game with your friends, and so long as you have everything in order, you can all vie for first place. So that about wraps up this tutorial and should give you everything you know to create an online high school system. If you want to find out more, please check the description for the project files for this video, as well as a link to my Patreon. I really do appreciate your support. So if you've got any suggestions on what we should do next with Game Maker Server, please let me know in the comments. I really do read every single one of the comments that goes in there. If you have any other suggestions for other cool videos, also put them in there. And until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.